Christmas and I just uploaded a Tis the Season book tag video and it is really funny um, the ending and I'm just kind of crazy because it's super late at night and it's after I went to a Christmas Eve party and I'm actually about to go to a Christmas party so that's why my hair is curled again and I got a sweater on and I'm just so excited so um, also this morning I got some really good gifts in I got a lot of books and I'm going to do a haul tomorrow probably so I have a lot of videos that are rolling through because also with New Year's I'm going to do some like best books of 2014 and books I want to read in 2015 and it's going to be pretty cool so I got a ton of videos coming so let's get into the 12 days of Christmas book tag so number one is a partridge in a pear tree favorite standalone book I would be I would sing this all but I'm a very bad singer so you guys would not want to hear that so I have Open Road Summer by Emery Lord this is, I'm pretty sure it's a standalone, I don't think there's any other books to this, but it's so sweet, and a lot of um, standalone books I don't really read. I usually, like, fantasy is big series, but contemporary, like, this one is a standalone, and I love it so much. It's not a very popular book, but I love it so much. It's so sweet and summery, and it's about a country singer, and I love it so much. So on to question number two. Two turtle doves. Oh, I kind of sang there. <laughs> Fictional OTB, OTP or favorite ship. So I'm going to find these books as I'm talking right now. OTP or favorite ship have to be Anna and Etienne in Anna and the French Kiss. It's such a sweet story and it's really awesome because I love Paris. And I think this book, I mentioned something about this book in my last video. And if you want to go see it, click the link in the description. But they're so cute and I'm dropping my book. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And that's my favorite ship, even though I don't even think they have a ship name. Number three, Three French Hens. Favorite trilogy. Ooh, this one. I am in the middle of reading Crest. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping so many books today. But guys, it's okay. They're all nice and neat. I love this trilogy, Lunar Chronicles. And it's actually more books. Winter is coming out in 2015. But so far it's trilogy, so this counts, and I love it so much. It's so cool and different from all the other types of books. So it's very different and good and space and awesome. I love it so much. Um, <clears throat> number four, Four Calling Birds. Favorite fictional beast slash creature. Oh, this is hard. So I'm going to have to pick The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. The vampires are really cool. And vampires are kind of cliche in books, and there's like so many vampire books. But this book was so cool, and I love how the vampires were. It's just really awesome. So this is the book that I'll choose for favorite creatures of the vampires. Next question is six geese. Oh, no, I missed one. Five golden rings. Show five golden books. Okay, so first, this book, obviously, Endgame's a Calling. And... I think that's all my golden books. Some of them, like the Cassandra Clare books, have a little bit of gold tint to it, like City of Glass. But I'm just going to take out this. I know it's not five golden books, but here's one of them because this is like total gold. Next question is, Six Geese Lang, Rotten Egg, what's your least favorite book? Okay, this is so hard because I love like all books and like I always have like, I don't know, I'll try to pick one, okay. My least favorite book, okay, my least favorite book is City of Fallen Angels. I dropped some of the books fell backwards. Um, City of Fallen Angels because the series is so amazing. I loved it so much. Oh, this is kind of gold. But this book was like really boring and you can see it's a little bit smaller, but it's super boring. So it was totally my least favorite in the series at least. And I didn't enjoy it that much overall out of other books. So I didn't really care for that one. And Seven Swans of Swimming. Show a book with water on the cover. Oh, I got so many books. Ooh. I have Deep Blue by Jennifer Donnelly, a mermaid book. See all this water. Da -da -da. I love mermaids. <laughs> Next we have is Eight Maids of Milking. What fictional food do you wish you could taste? This is super easy. And it's at the bottom. I am dropping everything today. I don't know what is wrong with me. I have Divergent, obviously the Dauntless Cake because I'm obsessed with chocolate cake and chocolate and sounds so good. I want to try that. 
Number nine, I think we're on. Yeah, nine ladies dancing. Favorite dance between two characters. Um, I don't think I've read a book where two characters dance, so I'm going to pass on that one. Ten Lords of Leaping. Favorite book to movie adaptation. That would have to be The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I think this is a really good job. I think the only parts they missed out was I think there's a little bit more humor in it, and it just seemed overall sad. Like, the movie just... Seems so sad, there's no humor at all, it seemed like. But I think there were some happy moments and really funny moments that's hard to stand out in the movie. But I really enjoyed this one. Eleven, Piper's Piping. Favorite book to movie adaptation, soundtrack. Oh, yes. Mockingjay, The Hanging Tree. And I'll play that song, a clip of that song right now. Are you, are you coming to the tree? Are they strong? Question, 12 Drummers Drumming. It's the end of the song. What's your favorite book ending? Favorite book ending. I'll do an ending of a series. Boom. Oh, golly. Probably going to drop these books, too. Is City of Heavenly Fire. This was such a good ending, especially to, like, the series, not just the book. And I was, I was pretty happy, but I was, like, crying because I was, I was so sad this ended. But I really liked it. I think it ended the series well, and this book ended very well. So, City of Heavenly Fire, this humongous book, is what I have chosen for number 12, the best ending. And it probably isn't the best ending. There's probably other books that have a better ending, but I really love that one. So, that was the 12 Days of Christmas book tag. Now I'm going to attempt to hold all of them without dropping them. Like in last video, I tried to hold it on my head, and I... It failed. <laughs> you guys had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!